How's it going everyone? Come out to uh, cut some more firewood today. I'm gonna cut some tamarack. There's a nice tamarack tree right up the bank here. So gonna get fueled up and uh, go up and uh, fall it. Went and tried to go in another spot, but uh, the snow was still way too deep. I figured the snow wouldn't, would be off the roads, but guess not. Crazy wild winter, man. We've had a lot of snow, getting a lot of rain. It's causing a lot of roads to wash out, a lot of runoff. But we need the moisture, that's for sure. See some good growth on uh, for the animals this year. Well, that last tree wasn't wasn't no good. This one a bit better. The tamarack on the verge of being 100% dead.
log marked up um those of you who do know larch trees yes there is limbs and stuff on here but there's a way to tell if uh this tree is dead versus alive now that tree right there is good and healthy and you can really see it in the fine branches you take uh one of these and they crumble real easy and pop they're dry versus if you used to grab some of those they'd be really spongy so I was just walking down kicking some of these off with my foot but yeah there's a big old crack in the butt of it and uh, the bugs have got to it and there's holes all the way through it so and you could I thought I could see where it was separating and here's somewhere the bark so um sometimes larch trees are hard to judge or tamarack um yeah i remember one time i was cutting in it was a stand of dead fir and uh there was one larch tree in it that uh was still alive well when i walked up i thought i picked the right tree out and I get up in there and I fall this tree and it was a tamarack tree because it was a big tamarack. So the butt, the bark on the butt of it matched most of the dug fur that was around it. And uh, yeah, we get cutting it up. Man, it was really squatting a truck. And my buddy goes, did you fall that larch tree? And I look up there. I go, I sure did. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking. I walked up in there. It was in a stand of dead fur. I mean, there's probably 10 quarter fur right there. And then that one larch tree and... I wasn't even paying attention. Ended up falling that larch tree on accident. But we all at home, seasoned it, and it burned. So anyway, I'm going to get buzzing this up.
like I said, it's got a little bit of moisture in it. Um, it wasn't fully seasoned, but it's fully dead. I mean, it's uh, it, this tree wasn't coming back to life, especially with all the holes in the uh, trunk of the tree. Um, but it'll be good in season come fall. It don't take long for fur and tamarack to season. No, this isn't stuff I would sell to burn right away. I actually drove by it this winter a few times and I noticed it was dead but it wasn't fully seasoned so I just left it and figured I'd come back and get it now when uh, people are wanting to stock up for next winter. So the gentleman this is going to has three cords sitting at his house of fully dried primo uh, dug fur but he wanted some tamarack to mix in and uh, yeah so come fall it'll be good in season Like this stuff right here, you could dang near burn that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just take a break if you need to. I give a couple shout outs. One is to uh, 406 Highlanders. They're in Northwest Montana, I believe. One of the best, probably my favorite hunting channel, outdoor channel. I mean, it's right up there in the top five for sure. I think I've watched every video twice now. <laughs> um, guy named Kelly and his boys and his wife and his whole extended family they do a big hunting camp and stuff just amazing videos so i'll drop a link in the description go check out 406 highlanders and tell kelly uh mountain life sent you if you like the outdoors you like hunting fishing camping you'll love this channel they cut firewood too just same thing we do except they got a bunch or they got some pack horses
they're smart. <laughs> now, once I get on some property, I hope to grab some uh, pack horses and pack mules. That are llamas. Any of you deal with llamas? Get about three llamas plus myself, I could pack a whole elk out in one minute. Let's take a break, huh? Yeah, come fall, you, you can bet money that's going to be some of the best firewood from the Northwest, that's for sure. Gonna be a little bit of weight on the Tacoma, but let's go out of here easy. So those of you that know well, that had been following along and know when uh, Kels pulled me out when I slid the Ford over the bank. It was actually just cutting right up the road here and I felt that big fir tree down in the uh, gully there or over the bank. There was about a 30 foot section that I left that I couldn't pull out. Someone pulled it out and it's sitting up there on the road, but I would have cut it up. But this gentleman wants a uh, tamarack. Maybe here in a few days, I'll clean the rest of this tamarack up and then I'll clean up that fur as well. Hey, 
And if you're wondering where the Ford's at, it's at the house. I got the parts for it. I just need to find time to put the water pump in. I seen over here where someone threw some training fluid out. It was when I was cutting. Yeah, I seen a thing, a tranny fluid sitting over here, I thought. Just irritates me when people throw their garbage out. Oh, here it is. Oh, no. It's not tranny fluid, it's Keystone Light. But I'll pick it up, haul it out. Well, I'm going to save some battery life and I'll bring you guys back here in a minute. So, Well, Kinsey and I got loaded. It's quite a bit of weight. Like I said, this is, it is got moisture in it. The tree is fully dead. Um, it just happened to die within the last year or so uh, from beetle kill. Um, there was a bunch of holes in it and stuff. And Anyhow, <clears throat> this will make... Uh, next year's firewood for the gentleman or this winter this coming winter so no i would not sell this to someone to burn right now um when it's winter time and people need wood to burn i cut standing dead which is seasoned but uh yeah anyhow hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video go check out 406 highlanders like i said you guys will love that channel if uh you like the outdoors i mean great great channel well edited um yeah it's a wonderful channel 
Uh, wish you folks good health and happiness as always, and we'll catch you on the next one.